What's up, everybody? Joe Cimarelli here. You know, a while back, I posted a blog about all different kinds of fishing gear that people a lot smarter than me are making with 3D printers these days. Now, one of those things was Michael Hackney's 3D printed fly reel. Now, not long after that post, the website 3dprint.com ran an article about Michael's reels. Hmm. Which, subsequently, was picked up by the dudes over at Moldy Chump. Love you guys. So all of a sudden, there's this baby buzz about this 3D printed reel. Now, where I look at it, we could sit around and look at pictures of the thing all day, but the burning question is, how does it perform? So, boom, winner. I win the internet today. Now, not only was Michael cool enough to make me one of these reels in signature hook shots red and black, he even stamped a little skull on it for me. So I spooled mine up with some floor weight, and me and my buddy Pete Berg are gonna find out what it can do against some big, dumb planter trout. This is actually really impressive, okay? The reel weighs next to nothing, and other than the glue, there is no external hardware. Every single piece is made on a 3D printer. Now, Michael makes these out of polylactic acid, which is actually a biodegradable, renewable plastic derived from cornstarch. In terms of design, this is about as close as you're gonna get to a regular old click and paw fly reel. I mean, the handle actually rotates around the post, and this thing seats beautifully on a rod. It actually took Michael more than two years to get this design just right. But now that the files are to his liking, he can print a reel in about six hours. <laughs> what? It's a good fish. <laughs> now, of course, you can't adjust the drag on this reel. There's just a little stick of plastic that locks into the gear, and that's what gives you your click. So is this the smoothest reel you're ever going to fish? No, it is not. But given what it is, given how it was made, I was pretty impressed by how it handled the runs of some of these fish in some pretty heavy current. I mean, you might get a hiccup here and there when the drag first kicks in, but the reel never failed. And we put some big fish on it between Worm Duncan, Nymphin, and swinging some big old streamers. Mop fly, corner pocket. So is this gonna be your next bonefish reel? No. Is it gonna be your next steelhead reel? Probably wouldn't advise that. But if it could handle these big stockers, it'll handle any 10 to 15 inch trout on the planet. And considering the reel weighs nothing, if you need something to throw in the backpack that won't add any weight when you're hiking into some little brookie stream or wild brown trout stream in the mountains, it's actually a pretty cool investment. Now Michael actually sells these reels and they start at 75 bucks and go up to about 100, depending on how much customization you want. But if you have your own 3D printer, he'll actually share the design files for free. Chunky. For more information, you can get in contact with him at his website, eclecticangler.com.